Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin. Today I'm joined by Jack who's a, a newer golfer, handicap golfer, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a test with the new ball brought out by Trust. It's called the Trust Aurora. It's a very premium ball, it's 34 99 It's got to be, it's got to live up to why it is, like the price tag again, competing against big brands. It's competing against very big brands, you know, and for 34 99 you know, it's got to be a very good ball. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was sent these balls as a bit of a free bit, and they were never ever going to be a, a YouTube review. Yeah. You know, obviously they said they'd send them to me, I was going to maybe, you know, just test them and have a yeah. play with them, which I haven't done yet. And the reason I'm doing this today is because, you know, I've had a member who I teach, he were using them, he's going to say a few words as well. Uh, he's not here with us today, but he's just going to say a couple of words about why he's using them, because he, he referred these balls by somebody who actually tests yeah. balls. They were very durable, I thought, and I, and I thought it was a nice ball to play with, sort of thing. But so. what I was surprised at, because it's a, obviously a brand that we've never heard of, is that there was someone on YouTube who would actually give it a positive review, yeah. and, you know, somebody that you look up to and, and follow. Yeah, and 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 so I'd, got, I'd, I'd bought other equipment because I... Thought I I understood what this guy was talking about. Yeah, and it made sense. Can you remember the, the, the what swing he's speeds, made? for instance, for balls appropriate to yourself? Yeah, that seemed like a good way of doing it. But was he completely independent? He didn't, you know. He, no, he's in, he sells lots and lots and lots of stuff. He's Different fitter, brands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had Jack, who you know, happened to say that he'd been sent some balls trust balls yeah. and it, it just it was just so coincidental that I thought well we've got to do a video on them yeah we've got to do a video I had two positive reviews and you know although they're 34.99 you know I think they almost deserve reviewing yeah they do they, 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 they're not you know they're brave enough to come into a competitive market you know at the top end you know where they're quite expensive and you know try and try and compete with some of the top brands so we're going to try them. I'm going to compare them against the ball we normally play with, the Pro V. Yeah. So, you know, that's the market they want to try and take over. Well, we're going to compare them against the best. Yeah. Baby girl, love my bop and I like me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Hating on the pen, don't stop, shit ain't going to feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? So this is going to be the actual ultimate test on control guys, we've got a 40 mile an hour wind behind us, we're chipping over a bunker with not much green to work with, Lee's up there, he's going to be recording the balls, you know, as they land and to see how they react and, you know, I don't think there's a better ball than Pro V1, you know, I know it's a bit more expensive, it's about 46 99 now, does it? But uh, we're going to see how the trust compares, this is a real test for me, we're ready. That's the Pro V1. I'm landing it short on purpose because I know it's not gonna, you know, even though it's a Pro V and it's ultimate control, downwind it is still gonna roll. You're not gonna get a lot of check today. Pretty much very similar shot. So now it's down to the trust, isn't it? That seemed to come up a little bit more. That seemed to sort of pop up a little more, did you think so? Yeah, you could see it pop up. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more testing with that one. It felt equally as soft. That urethane cover made it feel soft. I felt like it popped up a little bit higher, you know, but I need to do a few more closer to the green. Yeah. Let's go do them, Jack. I'm going to go pitching wedge, Jack. Let's watch how it, how it reacts. more 
that felt good. That feels really nice. Good solid hit that Jack, well done. Great shot. Oof. That's really got ripped. A bit off balance there with wind, but uh, I've managed to strike it quite well. I've got 160 into flag, 160. Into breeze though, Jack. See how ball feels chipping. Yeah. Yeah. You probably already noticed, guys, it's extremely windy today, and one of the things I were guilty on on last tee, we're not really counting for it. You know, swinging 100%, usually in wind, I tend to grip down it a little bit, you know, obviously widen my stance and swing 70, 80%, but uh, not playing it wind for such a long time. And I do apologise if there's some wind noise as well, but Tuesdays is our day to film, so you know. Um, if we miss Tuesdays, we won't be able to bring you any content, so we're doing as best. And I think I've probably got about 78. This is probably one of the biggest drives I've ever hit here, Jack, to be honest. It were a little bit further left than I'd normally hit it, because I pulled it a little bit due to being off balance, but let's have a look what we got in. Got 100 yards uphill into a wind. I'm going to hit pitching wedge and not hit this too hard. Let's see how it flies. Solid. Be interesting, it's not going to be too far away that. So, Jack's trying a little tactic. He's been missing a lot of greens with his pitching wedge and, and his, his nine iron. So, he's trying to roll, get the ball rolling sooner and just using like a free iron club. That looks pretty good, Jack. Well done. Come on, Jack, it's a long one this. His putting distance control is atrocious. Even the trust ball can't sort you out. <laughs> he's, I've told him he's got to get better at putting and chipping because his long game's great, but he's really letting himself down around the green. Oh, yeah. So just overshot the green a little bit. I think that I just me. I just need to. If I were going to play this ball, I just need to dial in with it, wouldn't I? Yeah. It's probably gone a bit further than I normally it's it feels nice off putter actually I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna have that put again Jack just for just for feel at ball it feels probably feels a little bit firmer than probably to put where No, it certainly feels nice, but... do not feel that much different, to be honest. It's a difficult yeah. one. Um, yeah, it does feel a bit firmer, if I were... What's weird is, is it feels firmer to put with 
but it just feels as soft to chip with. Yeah. You know, you're actually impacting the ball. So just to conclude on this one, guys, you know, we've compared against the Pro V1, which, you know, I've used forever. And, you know, I've never really thought about changing because I've never found a ball that feels as good around the green. For me, you can give me all the ball flight data you want for distance, but it always comes down to the ball that I'm most confident chipping and putting with. The one that's going to stop when I'm flopping it over a bunker or when I'm playing a chip and run, it reacts how I want. And it's competed. It has. It's, it's all, it's, it's, there's not many balls that compete with a Pro V1 when it comes to that. And, and for that, that's why I want people to try it. Yeah. I want people to, you know, maybe contact us, see if you can get some free balls to try. If not, you know, maybe, maybe even buy a box. Yeah, it's, but, it'll be worth it. But, um, you know, more importantly, see what the other YouTubers have got to say about this ball. Because I know one of our members were recommended it um, from someone independent. And also, if you are using it, please get in the comments because I think subscribers will appreciate your feedback just as much as ours, you know what I mean? So, uh, definitely, guys. Definitely one to look at, folks. The Trust, it looks looks absolutely awesome as well. Um, any final points to conclude? It's just a, a really unique style in a ball, isn't it? Colours unique and you don't see many like that off market. You see, like, your whites and your coloured ones, but that's like your blue and like a glittery finish on it and it is quite it's a very good point to finish on that because not many european covers come in any other color but white do they no you know how many years were we asking titles to bring a yellow pro v and they finally listened to us well trust have gone straight in there aren't they with a blue ball which might not suit everybody but uh, they've been brave to do that and yeah i think we'll finish on that yeah. and we'll see you in a few days time guys bye